Now we'll talk about creating a bar graph. And I think the best way to explain this is to actually create one. So we'll take some sample data and actually make a bar graph from it. So here's our data. We're told that Joe took a survey of all the pets owned by his friends. And he came up with this data. And we're told to use this data to create the bar graph. So out of all the pets that his friends owned, there were 77 dogs, and you see the other numbers, 39 cats, 17 rodents, so that would be something like a hamster or a gerbil or a guinea pig, 12 birds, and 19 other pets. And here's how we create the bar graph. First thing is we choose a scale, and we want the scale to encompass all of this data. So the main thing we need to look at is the highest number on the scale. It's 77. So we need to have the graph go up at least as high as 77. So 80 sounds like a good choice. It's just a little larger than the largest number that we need to display. And 80 is also a nice round number and a multiple of 10. So we can conveniently mark our scale in increments of 10. So I'll call this 0 down here. And we'll just go up by 10s. And we're going to get up to as high as 80 and all of our data will conveniently fit on the graph in that case. Then down here on the horizontal part we'll list the different categories dogs, cats, rodents, birds, and other. So in, in this column right here I'm going to graph the number of dogs. So I'll write dogs here and I'll skip a space just to keep the graph neat and I'll put cats here and then rodents will be here and then birds here and other over here and I just wrote the word rodents down here because I could tell I was going to have trouble fitting it in this space now let's graph the data there's 77 dogs so that's a little bit less than 80 so I'm going to make a bar up here a little less than 80 and then draw these lines down here and we can shade this in and then cats there are 39 cats so that's just a little bit less than 40 so I'll put my line just barely below 40 and draw in a bar to represent the number of cats and then rodents there are 17 rodents so I need to go a little bit less than 20 maybe about right there and that bar represents the rodents. There are only 12 birds, so that's just a little bit over 10. So I'll put about to that height for 12 birds. And then for other, there are 19 other. 19 is just a little bit less than 20, so this needs to come up to just a little bit beneath the 20 mark. And that represents the other pets. And so there we have it, a bar graph uh, displaying this given data. Now we can look at this graph and easily compare. Visually, it's easy to see that there are a lot more dogs than anything else, and that cats come in second. And you can see how much of one there is compared to the other very easily. And you can get that information into your head just a lot more quickly than you can by looking at the numbers. Now when you create a bar graph, Note that the scale doesn't have to be single units, and that's what we see here. Over here, this is marked off by the hundreds, you see, but it's not just hundreds. This is in millions of dollars. So each line on this graph represents a hundred million dollars. And this is a graph of a budget for this company called Space Aero Corporation. Here you see the Space Aero Corporation 2008 budget. And we're given a couple of questions about this. We're asked how much was spent on spacecraft construction and how much was spent on weapons testing. So let's take a look at the graph and find these numbers. Spacecraft construction and weapons testing. So here we are. Uh, spacecraft construction is this category. And it looks like it's right between the 400 and 500 mark. And remember that's in millions of dollars. So that's about $450 million. And how much was spent on weapons testing? Just based on the graph here, it's uh, clearly less than 200. 
um, and it's more than 150. It's more than halfway between the 100 and the 200 mark. And just from looking, I'd guess that that's about 180 million. So these are the two numbers we're looking for, about 450 million and about 180 million. So we can answer the questions. How much was spent on spacecraft construction? I'll write 450 million dollars. And how much was spent on weapons testing? About 180 million dollars.